This is Clinical Foundations of Biblical Counseling, CC 537. In our introduction, we will be looking at understanding exactly what Clinical Foundations of Biblical Counseling is all about. Make sure as you go through your syllabus that you have your books, and we will go through our readings and discussion in order to gain the information needed uh, to understand Clinical Foundations. My teaching style is basically lecture and with you reading and understanding the material so that the instruction allows the information uh, to sink in clearly. How you use and apply that information is very important because remember, information without instruction leads to frustration and no influence. But information with instruction results in application and transformational influence. When we think of the beginnings of modern psychotherapy, in order to understand the clinical foundations, we must first begin with an understanding of all modern psychotherapies. By appraising each of the current major psychotherapy theories in the mental health field from an evangelistic perspective, we are able to evaluate them theologically in order to establish an intelligent direction. So what is psychotherapy and counseling? Well, psychotherapy is a generic term that covers a wide variety of theories and techniques, all of which have many supporters. Everyone has a proven favorite in their own perspective. There have been as many as 260 different and distinct schools of psychotherapy, some related and some unique. So it would be very difficult to evaluate all of them. For this class, we will focus on a few of the most respected and utilized. But the common techniques of almost all the therapies will be focusing on offering support and reassurance, dealing with the distress of the client, encouraging adaptive functioning, offering understanding and insight, all motivating the client to change. We would describe each individual counseling or psychotherapy as dyadic or two-way interaction between a client who is in distress or confused or even frightened and a professional helper or pastor whose helping skills are recognized and accepted by the client. The relationship will be heavily verbal in order to accomplish the therapy. And so, psychotherapy and counseling are not that much different. They're interactional psychotherapies. They have the same purpose. You may di differentiate between the two on different training levels, but the end result is the same, change. So, for this course, we will establish the clinical foundation of counseling first, and then add to that the biblical perspective. By looking at what we call interactional psychotherapies, we'll be able to understand current trends from all sources and look at them through the lens of Christian pastoral, biblical, and integrative mindsets. So let the integration begin. Counseling is defined as the application of mental health, psychological, or human development principles through cognitive, effective, behavioral, or systematic intervention strategies that address wellness, personal growth, or career development, as well as pathology. It's seeking to change feelings, thoughts, or behaviors in simple terms. It is the integration of psychology and theology. Wisdom is then knowing not to throw out the baby with the bathwater, only to know when to throw out the bathwater. The application of wisdom. Because Christian counselors and psychotherapists definitely are both vitally concerned with understanding and improving human functioning by helping people that would have problems relationally, both personally and in society. While it is true that some biblical counselors feel that psychology is the work of the devil, whereas some biblical counselors feel that Christ is Lord of all, it is true that psychology and biblical principles can be integrated by integrating psychology and theology, one is able to keep the wisdom of interaction in relationships pure with clear biblical awareness. 
This allows the Word of God to demolish arguments against the knowledge of God while continuing to maintain a constructive dialogue with the physical problems that cause psychological disorders. Our foundation in this perspective is God's inerrant Word, but we are open to minister to the whole man in this soul care directive. By following the two stages of integrative biblical Christian wisdom with secular thought, we will critically evaluate each therapy and then build a theory that works as a model of biblical pastoral counseling. There are many criticisms of the task of integration that need to be applied as testing the theory. For instance, number one, we know that the Bible is sufficient to meet all human needs, and God gives us wisdom to apply this truth. Secondly, God, by the power of His Holy Spirit, is the source of true counsel, and we must listen and discern His truth. Thirdly, psychology can be bad science when taught outside of the direction of God's Word. And finally, do not make psychology a religion. It is not. It is only knowledge to be used, just like a car is not biblical, but we do not walk where we go. By taking a Christian view of persons, we understand that behavioral science teaches us a lot about the way people act and react, and is most useful in counseling. But in order to understand this in the light of Scripture, we have to see the personality theory found in God's Word. Since God is our Creator, And having been created us in his image, having created us in his image, we understand that the personality of man can be understood by God. God's word addresses the heart of man so that God can speak directly to his creation. Since the Bible is a historical book also written to particular people at a specific time, we must understand the context to clearly understand the content in God's word. The Bible is meant to be understood by whosoever. The Bible was written as a whole message also, a message that is one of reconciliation and the salvation of man. So finally, as a result of these basic premises, we can see a vision of personhood, a personality theory that takes us really like a four spiritual law direction. Number one, God loves us created us in His image out of nothing as unique individuals created for His glory as spirit, soul, and body. But we are sinners by nature, our state, the fall of man, and by choice, our acts, selfishness, rebellion uh, in our hearts. We have responsibilities. Jesus came to die for our sin nature and gave us His Spirit when we believe in Him to make the right choices. With all the evil, moral and natural in our world, we have many problems that we have to face and conquer. Thus, our need for counseling and help from God's Word and one another. The redeemed life is to seek to live with wholeness and holiness by understanding who we are as a person and whose we are as a people and take a biblical approach to psychology and counseling in order to live it.